Though most Americans have never heard of him, filmmaker Klaus Dietrich has been the most influential figure in German documentary cinema for the last 30 years. His approach to questioning the world as he sees it has both enchanted and terrified audiences. With films like The Odyssey of a Starving Artist, Megalomania, A Love Story, and Living It Up in Laos, his method has been described as reckless yet visionary. Now, through his camera lens, Klaus Dietrich has found a way to present the one subject that has haunted him ever since his youth. This film is about a rock and roll band I recently discovered. You see, filmmaking is, is not my first love. I've attempted in the past to be in the music industry, to make my own music and create my own band. What I wanted to do was what we call a blitzen Esel, or uh, how you say in America, uh, ass kickings with rock and roll. But I failed miserably. For many years, I searched for a rock and roll band to bring the spirit back. I found my lost youth when I discovered this American rock band, Razor Doves. For the most part, the popular music in your country is vile and bass. If you switch on the radio, it's ridiculous and destructive. This pop music, it, it, it kills us. It kills our language. So we must declare holy war on the music we hear every single day. And this is why I must make this film. I live or I die making this film. This interview is over. What's that surface that you pound on? The drum head. There's, there's a lot of energy. I kind of soak it in. Soak so it in. That's why it's... So you're like on the ladder of success. Do you have any uh, girl groupies? Uh, I don't have any of those. Oh. Klaus? Klaus. <laughs> When I first got to this town, I was, I was essentially homeless. I had pretty much been excommunicated from my, uh, my way of life, uh, mm -hmm. and I just headed south. I hear up Amish. You did? You were from an Am Amish family? A lot Th of people don't know that about me. This I did not know. Oh my lord, okay. I see. So. Um, so what, uh, I, I know that the uh, Amish are kind of a closed society and there are very strict rules and regulations about how one should live. Right. But uh, you, did you have some conflict with that? Well, yeah, I mean, the whole, everything about the Ordnung, you know the Ordnung? The Ordnung regulates private, public and ceremonial behavior among the Amish community. It defines conduct ranging from the personal dress to the use of technology. It is the way that the Amish community decides what practices would undermine or enhance private and communal life. The Ordnung emphasizes self-denial and humility. You know, imagine that kind of lifestyle. Uh, mm -hmm. No music, no, no, I'm sorry, no. Kein music, Musik? Well, the only music that I experienced up there was, was hymnals, just singing. Uh, no, Did you sing? No instruments. Did you know that? that there's well, no, I, because I couldn't play instrument, instruments. Because instruments were too extravagant, exactly. I guess. It was, here was my instrument. Tapping, my knee, a, a knee tapping on the knee, eh? Yeah. And you get, if you get too crazy with that, I mean, you get... Why don't you let go yourself? Why don't you let go yourself? 
Why don't you let go yourself? So how, how did you guys first meet up with each other? How, how did you meet? It was a yoga ad that spun out of control. And one thing led to another and, and music got into the conversation. The yeah, music. the original yeah. idea actually was, was, was trying to meld 18th century hymns with gothcore. But it, it, these guys, it just didn't work with these guys. So we tried more of a rock, pop rock type deal. I'm pretty much am able to do whatever I want. And then, uh, and then we hit the studio. And they make me change every part. Even though you, do, you want to demonstrate to them that uh, this, see, this is how it sounds. And it's great, but it's like... Uh, but yes, I, I it's have... Because it, it's the stigma that because you're, you're the drummer. So if you like the, uh, the Ringo Star, I have complete freedom to do whatever I want until we record. The Razor Dubs have granted me and my film crew permission to bring our cameras into the recording studio while they work on new albums. However, they failed to warn us of how temperamental their producer Gravity Man can be. So, if you please, just will go up these stairs and you just follow me. Here they are. This is what they call the live room of where the razor does put. Who is this? I'll tell you. Yeah, this is Klaus. He's all the way from Germany. He's here to, yeah. to document the razor does. Is it cool if he sits in on this? You know, yeah, I didn't discuss this. Okay, we thought this would be a perfect area to all right, do the... Alright, alright, uh, right. I, I think I'm getting it. I, I get the gist of it. Okay, but, uh, so... Uh, what I, I need from you, though, is if you guys could just stand back. I mean, we're working here. we got some things to go around these drums. Uh, you just give us some money. I'll be here. flying the wall. Alright, I appreciate that. All right. So you were telling me about this microphone. So anyways, it's kind of a nod to the past with updated circuitry to the future, you know, using the 48 Phantom power Excuse me, can you speak a little bit louder? We don't have wireless mics on you. I can't believe this guy. Please, Klaus, we gotta work here. We gotta get this done. We gotta get this done. you guys. Hey, hey! What? That's a $5,000 microphone you're hitting there. Hey, 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 you know, I can't deal with this. You see Rocco here? Rocco's upset. And when Rocco gets upset, I'm getting upset here. Guys, look, guys, I just. No, no. So tell me about uh, what that guitar you got in your hand there. Uh, so right. the special significance. All right. So I guess you could say this this guitar is responsible for our sound. There was a yacht, believe it or not, a yacht. Yeah. yeah. That, that shipwrecked uh, off the coast of Connecticut. Uh huh. The yacht was salvaged. Uh -huh. uh, we found out that all the passengers died. Oh no. Um, but a lot of the wood was uh, salvaged from the hall, and this 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 wood was the, from the guitar was crafted out of this uh, this perished ship. So mm -hmm. can you feel the spirits of the people who perished uh, emanating? I like to think that they're responsible for some of our songs. Okay. <laughs> What's with the suit? Well, I, I came from my day job. So you're, you're an investor? Well, yeah. It kind of makes me a lot of money. And, uh, you know, how did... So, you saw my house. I bought that last year. And, uh, yeah, you know, I do I do pretty well for myself. Oh, so, so okay. So you have quite, quite the, the day job. Yeah. So, well, I mean, you know, my family has money too, but, you know, I, I got to do something with my time, right? So, uh, let me ask you this, and why, why won't you take some of that money and, and, then, and then put it into the advancement of the razor dogs? It's our art. I'm not going to throw money at that. Dietrich's crew is here. I am beginning to understand the delicate personalities within this group. Despite their bizarre songwriting techniques, 
I can see genius in these three men. Their dedication regarding their music is not unlike the Buddhist monks I filmed back in the 80s. But this is the music industry, a totally different world. I fear this is a house of cards that could tumble at the slightest wind. Have you ever been out in the nature and you can smell the trees and you can, you can hear the birds? Yeah. Um, well, that's kind of how I, I do that. I go out there and I, I channel that stuff in. And I bring it in and I hone it to a real sharp point. So it's a lot of uh, inspiration from the nature. Nature. Okay. Big time nature. Okay. Big time nature, yeah. I, I, I feel that animals are already writing our songs. That we just have to, we just have to pull them out of the animals. For me, I like to take inspiration from whiskey. Mostly Scotch. whiskey. Whiskey. Yes, whiskey. But wh why whiskey of all things? I find whiskey to be incredibly complex and completely inspiring because it has all these different flavors and all these subtleties, and it just creates mental pictures that I can translate into music. We formulate ideas. And then I take some of those ideas and I try to match them up against um, whiskeys. I don't know. How about how about I pour a little bit of whiskey for uh, for both of us? Just a little bit here. Oh, yeah. All right. Just a little bit, just a taste. And I want I want you to taste it. Yeah. And I want you to describe it. And uh, and then I want you to think about what song it matches. Art to art. It's a like a rocky fight. We can keep it cool. Yeah, Mike's Mike the knife. On the higher fish, there has been a place I could play that, that, that they wouldn't call the cops on me, any street corner, I'd play. You know? I, I play from my gut, man. Right here, my gut. I, I think that deep sorrow in those hymnals had a, had a big part in, in my sound. But yeah, it's a folk. I, I, I'd cross it. Bob Dylan, um, Huey Lewis kind of vibe. You come with the beat. This is Klaus. Uh, where, where the hell are you? We had in, an appointment. I, I've got to get this done. The investors are breathing down my neck. Where are you? Klaus, uh, I'm sorry. I've been, I've been kind of down, man, the last two days. And I gotta tell you something, man. Well, what's, what, what is it? What, what, what's wrong? Look, I know how hard you've been working on, on the duck. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, I gotta tell you that Mike uh, is quitting the band. He's done. He quit, and I don't know. I don't 
Wait, wait, wait a minute. Why, why did he do this? Why? What, what's, what happened? You know, honestly, I don't know, and it doesn't matter. You know, uh, and he's not going to reconsider. We, we, we talked, and, and he's gone. And I think maybe the best thing to do for you and, and your crew and everything is I go home. No, no, not on your life. This is important. We will finish this film. I can easily adjust the ending. Just go ahead and find a new bass player. Look, you can't adjust the ending if there is no ending. We're done. Nine, nine, nine. I believe they will be the up there or down there in the industry for years to come. Can't you see? Silver way. She looks at me. 